What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? To answer that, it would be your NQ short positions, your your ES short positions, any puts you have overnight. The Russell has officially just crossed the correction territory. Uh, right now going on, Israel had just attacked uh, Iran, I think even a couple other countries. Uh, so we have an ally going rogue, was a popular quote from tonight. Um, we have things going nuts. Markets are absolutely breaking down and melting down. So I wanted to come on here and make a make a quick video. You're going to start seeing a lot of YouTubers talk about capitulation, recession, um, it, all the red stuff, right? The fear. Uh, I haven't even drawn tonight's thumbnail, but I'm sure there's going to be fire in there because uh, that's what drives the views. Uh, and I wanted to come on here and just show off these charts. We, we broke that zone, and then we're just continuing down. The NASDAQ. Right, so we played the zone to zone game and then we hit that speed bump zone. That's what we expect out of a speed bump zone. A little hiccup, melting down. Maybe we're bouncing right here. The SP, full blown zone to zone, kind of holding right here. We have oil going absolutely insane, just up 4%. Um, so hopefully you filled up your car if you don't drive a Tesla because uh, gas is going to be up tomorrow, so that's nuts. We have the shiny stuff that raccoons like shooting up. Gold and silver going absolutely nuts as well. Uh, I could stretch it out to make it more emotional for you guys. Um, just in send it mode. And, and so right now, let's just look at the VIX. VIX going up. This is the VIX future, so this is tracking right now. Um we have things going absolutely crazy. If you're on Robinhood, you can look at the Robinhood overnight prices. Uh, I can actually pull up a few right now. Let's go Tesla. Tesla right now at 143.94. So that close, even after hours, close at 148. Right now, Robinhood has it just shy of 144. We have, uh, let's do NVIDIA. NVIDIA right now is at 815. What we close that at today? 842. So you can see things are getting absolutely nuts. And as I'm recording this, we very well could just bounce out of this zone and be up in the morning. Not to compare this to an earnings play, but how many times have you seen earnings? Just full send something, and you uh, you were short, right? So you had puts. You go to sleep, uh, sleeping like a baby. You're popping bottles. You're celebrating. And then tomorrow it's back up. Uh, everything about the volatility right now says we are sending it. So I want to caution you guys, be careful who you're watching when it comes to trading and investing. Because anybody who called this out before uh, or says they knew this was coming or know what's coming next has probably no idea what they're talking about or very much a lack of experience. With the VIX being up like this, uh, and the chat I had with my group tonight is don't be the reason I have. I'm giving the lesson of what a rip your face off rally is because everybody going short that went short overnight uh, tomorrow morning when we gap down, assuming we do, they have a question to ask themselves. Are they going to lock in profits or double down? Because when they see it, just like in a green candle, greed kicks in and momentum kicks in. So it becomes a momentum down. Nothing will bring on sellers, no matter what news article rates this, that, nothing. We could raise rates 15 times, doesn't matter. Nothing will bring sellers like a red candle will. So you really got to watch out for that momentum to really pick up and really kick off a landslide. Uh, that snowball can really pick up that momentum. And that's what we might see the markets turn into on the other side of that coin, because this is very much a heads or tails situation. I just don't think we have a boring day tomorrow. Uh, we flipped that coin. And right now, and this is what I told the, my, my mentorship tonight, was right now we're trying to call heads and tails as the coin is in the air. Tomorrow it's going to land. Uh, mind your P's and Q's. Dot your I's, cross your T's, all the sayings. Make sure your positions are, are calculated, you have your risk, and you've, you've added this volatility into the risk. Because uh, what you don't want to be doing right now during this volatility is shooting from the hip. Because a rip-your-face-off rally is, if you try to chase this or jump on that bandwagon real quick and you just don't know what you're doing, a rip-your-face-off rally, you're going to be the reason it got that name. Because if shorts all, all see this and think, I'm locking this in. I expected to be up 100%. Now I'm up 300%. You know, whatever the numbers are. And they lock it in. 
They have to buy to close. That's buy side activity. And then you got the, the buy the dip crowd coming in hot. And when that comes in, jumps up. You have all the other shorts that were just trailing their positions. Stop losses getting filled. It'll be some of the fastest green candles you've ever seen. Because uh, usually we grind up and then we just, what well, you hear it all the time, stairs up, escalator down. In this case, it stairs up and then it's the express route out the window. You know, we're about to see that in on the inverse side. Uh, so if you in knife catchers, they're probably salivating right now, just looking like they have rabies. They just can't wait to buy the dip. Smart knife catchers are probably waiting for the momentum to to settle. Uh, when they see that settle, then they'll then they'll buy on. So sometimes there can be warning signs. Sometimes it just looks like a wick and just straight up. So be careful if you are are catching this knife. I gotta be honest. So uh, I'm short right now. I went short earlier. I doubled down on my stream. All I'm doing is making money. But before the bell, I actually did buy uh, some QQQ calls thinking we're going to rein this thing back in. And we very much still could bring it all the way right back in, uh, all the way into this uh, expected move. Um, I do think we, we probably did break it and, and we won't. But when I say the volatility is here, I'm saying none of this should surprise you. And if it does, you either just aren't experienced um, or maybe your allocation is just a little bit too much. So dial it back. Because when the volatility is awesome like this, a lot of people tend to think um, they're going to keep their spending the same and just make so much more. But one of the awesome things about the crazy volatility right now is you get to spend a fraction. You get to risk so much less and make the same. Uh, and that's a huge benefit because if you're wrong, eh, it's small. Who cares? You took a little cut. Big deal. Uh, for the what you're going to gain if you're right, that's amazing. You're telling me I normally have to risk 50000 to make this. Now I get to play with 5000 and make the same? I'm about that life. Let's go. And I'm not taking 10 positions just because I have that much more. Uh, if you just switch your mindset, I found if you just switch it, just that one little thing, just tweak it, just that. Um, you risk a lot less. Your your income stays the same. It just I find it to be a much more peaceful time to be trading while the volatility is crazy. Um, and, and one last thing before I, I drag this on too long. Don't let these candles be the reason you get emotional, make a knee jerk reaction. When you get people that focus in on like the two minute, the five minute time frames, they watch tiny candles like this all day. A little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down, a whole lot of nothing. You know, they're, they're using the chat like, oh, this thing's taking off. No, the SP's tanking. And you're like, and you're like, oh, crap. So you get on there and you're like, we're down a tick. What are you talking about? You know, it's because they're on some tiny time frame. Um, but it really burns that image into your head. And then when this red candle comes or like this size of candle comes, all of a sudden you're freaking out. It's moving. You feel you got to move and you just make decisions that you shouldn't. Um, and the, what, what the other example I gave when, you know, as far as like red candles bring on more, look at this momentum picking up. This is your normal, just BS candle gets a little bit more, a little more. Someone else is hearing about it a little bit more. Now everyone's hearing about it, so it's even bigger. Like a gradient scale from small to big. Yeah, from extra small, small, medium, large. Uh, what's next? Do we size it back down or do we go for the extra large? And I'm telling you guys that volatility is why I'm making a video this late at night and putting fire in the thumbnail for everyone to see. Um, hopefully I put crash in the title or something cool, something spicy. Um, anyway, quick little note. Uh, there was an accident or something on YouTube. Don Franz show actually got deleted. So I'm trying to get that back. Jump to Twitter, X, if you will, and say, bring back Don Fraud Show or bring out the pitchforks. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, hope every if you were already, let me, sorry, if you were already short, tomorrow if we gap down, put your stop in the green, close your eyes, and pray that we get the continuation. Uh, I, I wouldn't chase. Uh, I would put your stop in, manage that, uh, and let the dust settle a little bit before you just go jumping into a burning house. Okay. Um, anyway, I'll wrap it up here. I'll see you beautiful people in the morning. Have a good one.